Ciao! It's Cristiano here again from Bright Minded and today I want to show you a very neat and useful trick called SSH tunneling. A little while ago a mate of mine asked me how he could solve this little database problem which pertains to the following scenario. My mate works on his laptop in his home network here and he's working on an application which accesses a remote database here. This database only services nodes that are local to its network and this network is isolated from the outside. Sometimes my mate needs to interact directly to the database and the only way he can do so is by using SSH to open a remote terminal session on the server and use a command line database client to interact with it. Uh, there are unfortunately two problems. One is my mate hates command line programs and so he likes to use a nice and fancy GUI database manager that is running on his laptop. The second problem is that, as we've said, the database server is not configured to allow requests from the outside, and so my mate's GUI database client would have a hard time connecting to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to trick the GUI database client into my mate's laptop into thinking that the database server is also running on the laptop, whereas instead we forward all these requests to the remote server using a secure channel. And this trick is called SSH tunneling. Now, creating an SSH tunnel is very easy using the SSH command. And there it is. What we're saying here is the following. Use SSH to connect me to the machine that is running the uh, database server remotely and from now on whatever I send to port 3307 of my laptop please do forward to port 3306 of the host in the remote network named here. Now I want to stress this this part here is from the perspective of the remote network. You'll notice, in fact, that I put localhost here. This is because, as we've seen, I am connected to the machine that is running the database server. And from this machine perspective, the database server is running on localhost. Okay? The minus N option simply tells SSH not to be running any remote commands. And now, Connecting to the remote database is very easy and it's just like connecting to a local database. So for example, if you, you're using a, a MySQL command client, you would do something like this. You would tell MySQL to connect locally to a local host using the port that we've specified in the tunnel and uh, or using all the details that, are pertain, that pertain to the database uh, um, that is uh, located remotely. And that's, that's all. That's all there is to it. Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy.